everyone welcome back to my channel my name is Shannon Marie Apple if you don't already know that then I am so happy that we have now become acquainted with one another so on this channel it is officially called Christian classy confident and this is nothing new um, it actually was this name this title was given to me years ago um, God gave me the title Christian classy confident I never knew what he wanted me to do with it but I feel like that would be the perfect title for this channel so welcome to Christian Classy Confident. So Christian Classy Confident is all about becoming women of God and strengthening that area of our folk I mean that area of our lives is Christian women's so you know developing our walk with God um, through prayer through Bible study um, etc and then also the classy portion is about caring ourselves as women of God so caring um, in our demeanor and, and the way that we dress our makeup etc so we want to make sure that we're presenting ourselves as women of class and then the confident portion which is probably not my favorite but is it's one that I'm most familiar with and that's through health and fitness so on the confident portion we're really gonna focus on mind body and soul um, and you know intellect so we'll be doing um, maybe some workout videos I'm not sure how I'm gonna incorporate that into my channel because I don't want to overwhelm you guys with content especially right now in the beginning while our group is still small um, and while we're still trying to make a name for what this channel is all about but eventually I do want to do like some health videos um, comment your thoughts on down below like would you be okay with this channel right now already having like makeup tutorials fashion health and fitness like just things that I'm pretty familiar with or do you think we should just stick with the motivational messages and things of this you know what we've been doing so far so just let me know your thoughts I really value your opinions and your thoughts um, so yeah so and also with the confident portion we're gonna be doing books of the month and um, so I'm gonna talk about this book it's called the 12 pillars and it's a novel by Jim Ron and Chris Widener um, and I just completed this book and this was my book of the month so I do have a number of books that I want to read this year um, and I don't want to share my goal because I just I'm I'm really considerate on sharing my goals and since we are gonna have a lot of people watching this video I don't want to like put everything out there but anyways I do read books and I want to share that portion of my life with you guys um, but I do recommend this book by Jim Ron and Chris Widener um, it's called the 12 pillars as I said and basically I think that this is a great entry-level book for anyone who is starting their self-development journey um, because it gives you a really um, good foundation and lay work for what it means to really start this self-development journey and really becoming the best version of yourself so it has I don't want to um, I don't know if I want to give all 12 pillars because I want you to read the book but you know what I'll go ahead and do it for you I'm gonna go ahead and give it to you but I want you to read this book by Chris um, Chris and Jim it's only like a hundred pages and I think it's a really good easy read like it really is um, so if you're not already on this self-development journey where you're kind of feeding your mind um, through good books and good reads then I think that this will be a great um, starter book and even if you are I mean I've been on this journey for a good since sophomore year of college so I don't even know how long ago that was three four five years ago I don't know but um, even this book was a really good refresher and it really helped me to see like some of the weak the areas that I'm weak on and that I need to improve so let me go ahead and give you the 12 pillars I still want you to read the book because it's a really good book okay um, but this video is going to be about obedience and disobedience because we're going to get into that but here are the 12 pillars so the number the first one is personal development the second one is work on body mind and soul so body soul and spirit third relationships number four is uh, writing your goals number five is the proper use of time number six is surrounding yourself with the best people number seven is be a lifelong learner number eight is 
Um, let's see. All of life is sales. Number nine is income seldom exceeds personal development. Let's see. Number 10, all communication brings common ground of understanding. Number 11 is leadership. And number 12 is leaving a legacy. So those are all great points. And, um, and if you're, like I said, if you're already on this journey of self-development, then you're, you'll be pretty, pretty familiar with a lot of these points. So yeah, so read the 12 pillars of success, comment your thoughts below once you've read it. And yeah, so that's our book of the month. Um, I don't know if I want to do like a book. Yeah, we're going to stick with a book of book of the month. So for January, this was the book of the month since I actually got to finish it. All right. So today's video was actually originally going to be about obedience and disobedience. And you guys, I apologize that I haven't been able to record in over like a week or two. But I, my baby got the flu and then I got the flu and then my husband pretty much got the flu. So we were all in here fighting for our lives, okay? So bear with me. But um, I am well, my husband and my son are well as well. So we are all doing good. But um, yeah, so when, before I got sick and was unable to record, I had an experience where I was disobedient and I had a decision to make and I knew I had prayed about it. And I was like, all right, Lord, what do you want me to do? And you know what's the worst thing, y'all? It's pray, praying to God and asking him, all right, Lord, what do you want me to do? And then not doing what he tells you to do. <laughs> what's the point? You know, we have to be obedient. You know, if we're going to ask God, if we're going to take the time to sit here and pray and say, Lord, what do you want me to do? And he says, well, I want you to do this. And then I will give you my next move. I will reveal the next step after you do this. And we don't do what he told us to do in the first place. It will cost you guys like, and I knew that, and it wasn't nothing serious. It wasn't something huge. And God ended up working out, working it out in my favor anyways. But he taught me through this experience that disobedience will cost you. If you are not obedient to God, if you pray, and even if you don't pray, but it, and God reveals something to you that he wants you to do and that he needs you to do and you don't do it, understand that the consequence, you will reap consequences for being disobedient. Disobedience will always bring consequences shortly after, almost immediately. In my case, it was pretty much immediately. So it cost me time and it cost me money that's what disobedience cost me and neither of which i think any of us like to lose so um and i may share this testimony later on my channel but right now it's a little too fresh so understand and i wrote some points but just understand that we all are on a process and i think that you know going through this self-development journey is really important because we're all on a process to become the best or at least I hope that we're all on a process to become the best best versions of ourselves so while we're on this process there are two things that is real that are really essential in becoming the best version of yourself one is discipline and two is obedience okay so especially as you develop spiritually and God reveals things to you and he does it all in this timing and he's like, all right, well, this is what I want you to do. And we're not disciplined enough to be obedient, then understand that that's going to prolong our process. And sometimes when we're really disobedient, it can even stop our process and we have to. And then God, you know, it all has to be re um you have to start over pretty much so obedience will save you time it will save you money and in the end obedience keeps you in the right will it keeps you on the right path but when we're disobedient it, and we go our own way then we are led astray by our, by our own desires and we get off course and our life takes a turn that it wouldn't have had to take if we had just been disciplined and been obedient to stay on the right path in the first place. So what I want you all to do, um, of course, I'm always telling you guys to pray on certain things. 
So I want you to pray about obedience. Pray that God helps you to be obedient when he tells us, when he tells you to do something. Pray that you will have a heart that desires to do the will of God. Um, and pray that he reveals his will to you so that you can be obedient to what he's calling you to do. Because y'all, I am rooting for you. And I know that you can get where God is showing you and leading you, but it's going to require obedience. It's going to be, it's going to require a heart that desires to do what God is telling you to do. Um, and I know that that can be difficult sometimes. Trust me. I'm right there with you, right there with you. We're all living life together. We're walking through this life together, but we're also celebrating life together, you know? So... But anyways, comment your thoughts below. Let me know what you think about this topic um, in specific. Let me know some of your favorite books down below. Um, and let me know what you think about Christian Classy Confidence. I hope that you like it. But, you know, if not, I don't know what to tell you. Because, <laughs> I mean, it's a God thing. You know what I'm saying? Like, God put that in my spirit. So, um, anyways, I love you guys. I am here with y'all. Um, I wanted to just come and let you know that I'm still alive. I'm still here and I'm still here to record these videos and, you know, pump out great content. So I will see you all later. Love you. Bye.